welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing a, an, an unboxing and review of the toddler food delivery service called Little Spoon. <laughs> um, so a little bit of background about our family, our needs, and why I decided to try this. So we have a 21 month old toddler boy named Cassian. Um, so this is who the food is for. And then we also have a almost five months old baby girl Ripley. Um, and my husband and I both work full time. So I'm just trying to find ways to, I don't know, save us time and energy. So I decided to try this food service. Um, because all you have to do is heat it up in the microwave and I hate cooking, hate it so so much. <laughs> so anything that gets me out of cooking I will give it a shot. Also Cassian is kind of a picky boy when he eats at home, when he eats at daycare um, it's totally fine. The teacher says he's a great eater but when he's at home he's a little bit picky so I kind of wanted to um, expose him to more foods so he can get used to them and be less picky. So I did like some research online and there's a couple out there but I decided to try Little Spoon because I liked like the foods that I saw and the price point was okay to me. It was still very expensive, like way more expensive than if you were to cook at home. So they have different plans. The more number of meals you get a week, the cheaper it is. And I got the six meals per week plan to try out because Cassian goes to daycare uh, five days a week and they provide breakfast and lunch and snacks there. So we only have to worry about dinner time during the week. So I thought this would be a good amount to try out. And then, um, so I got it. So it's like $6 a meal, which is pretty expensive, I think. Um, and then every time you order, they ship two weeks worth of meal at the same time. So we got 12 meals when we ordered and it got here pretty quickly within like two or three days and um, I'll show clips of me unboxing and everything in the next clip. It was really easy to navigate their website. You can filter the foods through like different dietary restrictions like vegetarian, dairy free, gluten free and all of that. Um, Cassian doesn't have any uh, restrictions so we were able to take advantage of the whole menu and some of the foods that they um, had are very cool to me. They're like not just bland toddler food. They like like had flavors and from like different cultures, different countries. So I like that. So um, next, I'm going to show you like unboxing and then Cassian trying the foods, and then um, at the end of the video, I'll give like my little summary and what I um, thought about this. Alright, this is me opening the box. It came very well packaged. Look at the thick insulation. It came with two big ice packs and when it got to me, they were still frozen solid, solid, solid. Um, nothing melted and the food was packaged very nicely as well. It even came with dry ice and super thick insulation around the box, so I don't think the food will be spoiled if you just get it within the day that it arrives. And here, just me showing you what it looks like out of the package. Um, everything is frozen. And it looks so beautiful. And on the each of the plates, it labels what kind um, of dietary restrictions it is, it's, if it's vegetarian, if it's gluten-free, um, if it's dairy-free, or if it doesn't have anything, that just means it probably has one of those, um, it doesn't have any restrictions. And here's what everything looks like right out of the packaging. They still have the film over it, so I'll be putting them back in their sleeves and into the freezer. Hey guys, so this is the first meal I'm trying out for Cassian. It's a chicken pot sticker with brown rice, quinoa, um, veggie fry, and edamame. This is what it looks like. So apparently you're supposed to just stick this whole thing in the microwave without puncturing it or anything. It has like a really tight vacuum seal on there. 
Um, so I said to do it um, 60 to 90 seconds. So let's see how it turns out. All right, this is what it looks like. This thing popped off and I think it's all normal. It smells really good actually. It smells like something I would eat. Well, it's good. Let's see what Cassian thinks. Um, dumplings. Look. It's not too hot. Look at you peas. So this was the first meal I gave to him and he was a little unsure yeah. at first um, but he warmed up to it in a few minutes and he actually really enjoyed the quinoa and the edamame which was really surprising to me. I never even thought about giving it to him because I feel like little kids wouldn't like it that it's too healthy and it's kind of silly. And on the website, it says that the meals are focused on balanced nutrition, packed with veggies and superfoods, and there is never any preservatives, additives, or fillers in the meals. And the menu changes every month, so if your child doesn't like anything on the menu for that month, maybe check back for the next month's menu. And he actually did this a lot where he would take a bite of something new and then spit it out but I guess props for him to him for trying something new, right? It's a broccoli patty! Yum! And this was a pretty successful plate. This was what was left. He ate all the green beans and the rest he kind of squished. And then he wanted to eat some sweet rolls instead, which I gave to him. You know, it's all about a little compromise and uh, moderation. Another reason I got Cassie in this meal service is to have him try more proteins besides eggs and milk That's and cheese. I guess that's where he gets most of his proteins from. But this meal had some barbecue chicken in there and he actually really loved. Yee. Chicken. Yee. Chicken. Try it. Yee. Juice. Chicken juice. So I will be recreating this meal for him even if I don't get the service again. So I think I will just bake him some chicken breast and then um, slather on some barbecue sauce. I think he will enjoy it just as much if I just made it at home, but thanks for little plates for giving me the idea. And he ate all of it, so this is definitely his favorite plate out of everything that we've tried from them. And I'm just going to show you guys a couple of more meals that he had from Little Spoon and his reactions to them and what they look like right out of the packaging and what they look like after they've been heated up.
This one was like a southwestern flavor, which is something that he's never had before. Um, so, wait for it. He <laughs> he didn't like it at first. Um, and in fact, I don't think this was one of his favorite plates, but I'm glad he got to try something a little bit different. Okay, I don't know why I kept so much footage of him struggling here, but I just wanted to say I have personally tried every single one of these meals and they were all delicious, like they were something that I would eat myself. So as you can see, um, the plates were like kind of hit or miss, um, but I was actually hoping he would like like the foods more, but it makes sense. It's all new to him and he was a little bit picky to begin with. Anyways, um, so my overall thought is I think this is a great service, great idea. Uh, I'm not going to depend on it for every dinner from now on or anything like that just because it's still quite expensive and Cassian didn't like some of the plates so I think I'm just gonna order it maybe like once a month or once every two months and store it in the freezer and then just pull it out when I really don't feel like cooking or if we know we have like a particularly busy couple of days or if we're traveling to other places um, we just want to take this on the road to go like in a cooler but another good thing about this service is that it kind of opened my mind uh, opened my eyes into like different kinds of foods that Cassian would actually eat that I didn't think about before like the quinoa and the edamame I didn't think he would like those kinds of like healthy foods <laughs> so um, it motivates me to try to like maybe recreate some of these meals or just like use the ingredients I know he will eat um, so that was a good way to like explore different foods and give me ideas for future for the future and I can try to do these myself and maybe save some money. Overall, yeah, I definitely think it's worth a try. Um, keep in mind it's kind of expensive, but if you are a first time user, you can get like 50% off of your first meal kit. I'll have like my link down below. I forgot to use it, so I couldn't get the 50% off, which is kind of a bummer because that would have saved us a lot of money. But I'll leave my link and then you can get 50% off if you would like. Um, but yeah, so hope you found this review helpful. And if you want to stay for more like everyday mom content, I do that a lot too. Please hit the subscribe button and I'll see you all on the next video. Bye.